When and in what application should you start taking protein powder? Do you need it if you train a few times a week and how often do you need it multiple times a day? Real food is always the best way to go, but not eating enough food, that's the worst way to go. Too many times, people are out there getting fed bad advice. You gotta be taking this shake, bro. This is what I take, bro. I drink eight times a day, 16 scoops in one shake, bro. <laughs> right off. Protein powder can be a great supplement that can yield some great benefits if used correctly and if you're using a quality whey protein product. Once you've worked out how much protein you need per day versus how much protein you're actually intaking, this is going to tell you whether you're in a protein surplus or whether you're in a protein deficit. And that's going to be the defining factor as to whether or not you need to invest your money in a protein shake. If you find that you can't get enough protein through your foods, a whey protein shake becomes absolute gold for two reasons. Number one is convenience. It's a lot easier, especially when you're on the run. Those guys have a tough time getting all their macronutrients in for the day. Sometimes a whey protein shake becomes the easiest option. Probably one of the biggest advantages to having a protein shake as a meal would come in the post-workout time. This is where you've just damaged muscle tissue so we have an inflammatory response from the body. The body starts to release what's called GLUT4 receptors on that damaged muscle tissue. Those GLUT4 receptors will move protein into the muscle quicker than any other time in the 24 hour day. If you can get a hydrolyzed isolate without any chemicals in it, will become the easiest and most absorbable form of protein. This means that the protein can make it straight to the muscle tissue and those GLUT4 receptors can move the protein straight into the muscle. In each gram of protein, there's about 20 amino acids that your body uses as building blocks. The first 11 your body produces by itself and can actually store those, but it's that last nine amino acids, which is known as the EAAs, essential amino acids, that your body has to get day to day. It cannot store it, it doesn't produce it. L-leucine being one of those nine and being the most important amino acid of that list of 20. L-leucine is the most anabolic amino acid and initiates the most tissue repair and muscle growth. If you're not getting enough protein in your daily diet, the liver will then take over and it will kick off a process known as gluconeogenesis. This is where the liver taps into the muscle stores, pulls protein out and breaks it down into amino acids and feeds that to the body as fuel. Sometimes the protein shake that you end up using in this situation could be the deciding factor as to whether or not this was a complete waste of money or a great investment. A lot of companies and a lot of shops like to distract you with a bunch of bullshit marketing and steer away from the fact that there are many different types of protein and not all proteins are the same. Whey concentrate, which is usually the leftovers from cheese manufacturing, milk proteins, calcium cassinates. These are all cheaper grades of whey proteins that companies like to throw into the bottle, explain nothing to the clients, the salespeople know they make more profit off those, but in reality, these are full of lactose, most of the time full of more fat and more salt, and at the end of the day, makes it a lot harder for your body to break down. The best thing you can do is go for a protein shake that's not gonna add any extra pressure to your digestive system. Hydrolyzed whey protein is a protein that's been filtered down and shrunk the protein cells to the smallest chains possible, making it easier for your muscles to absorb and for your body to break down. The problem I find in the supplement industry, they're just there to sell you the latest thing on the market where some twonk in a tight shirt, two sizes too small, looks like he got the shirt from the pumpkin patch clearance sale, and he sat there trying to tell these customers, you gotta take this shake, you gotta take that shake, I take that shake and that shake, and they have all this marketing of fellas in expensive cars and a bunch of sexy girls sat on a poster next to a pool holding the product. The girls probably haven't even read what's on the product, they probably don't even know what the f they're holding. If you walk into a supplement shop with the intention of buying a supplement to improve your health and two sentences into the conversation, the salesperson's already scratching their head saying, uh, yep, yeah, uh, yep, nah, nah, get the f out of there. That person does not deserve to be taking your money. Please be careful what you guys are putting into your body. Make sure you read every single label. If you guys have any questions you want me to hit up in the future videos, please drop it in the comment section or send me a DM through Instagram or Facebook.